USS Canali to USS Cheyenne. We are under attack by Borg forces. Repeat, Borg forces. We intercept the two Borg vessels heading on a direct course for Sector 001. Search for something in two weeks. Have an order to remove Starfleet Command. If you can read us, do not repeat. Do not send help. We are lost. Warn Starfleet. The Borg have returned. Repeat, the Borg have returned. Seven thirty means O oh, seven thirty, Cadet. Sit down. First, the captain wanted me to convey his regrets for not being here himself. As I'm sure you've heard, Starfleet is amassing an armada in Sector 001 to defend against the latest Borg incursion. We, or rather, our ship, is on her way to join them. Starfleet has successfully defeated the Borg twice before, and we have every expectation of successfully stopping them now. However, given the probability of armed conflict, the captain has ordered that all non-essential personnel, including visiting Starfleet cadets, be transferred off the ship to a safer venue at the medical research facility on Marnus III. Please have your gear packed and be at Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. Dismissed. Cadet Furlong. A moment, please. The captain has denied your request to stay on board, Cadet. I'm sorry. The massacre ten years ago at Wolf 359 was a great tragedy for the Federation. I was only one year out of the academy when it happened. A lot of my classmates died there. Now, each year I get older and they stay the same. I understand your need for justice. I'm sorry. Shuttle Bay 3 in 30 minutes. father was killed nine ten years old and you're still not over it perhaps I should introduce myself I imagine you've heard of me though Q it's short for Q it was I you know who introduced Picard to the Borg and it's because of me that ten years ago the Borg came to Wolf 359 and found that fleet of ships and found your father and killed them all at 0800 hours during the Battle of Wolf 359 the USS Righteous such a noble name, Righteous, was hit by an unknown Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. Vaporized. <sighs> no trace. Nothing to bury, nothing to mourn. The Borg took it all away from you in an instant. I understand your desire for justice. They don't, though, do they? But I do. You want action. You want to avenge your father's death. You want to kill Borg. What sentient... Yet still barbaric, bipedal hominid wouldn't. You can run away with the others like a scared trog, or you can come with me, cadet. The choice is yours. Excellent choice, monsieur. Keep the phaser, you're going to need it. And take this too. Be careful now, don't lose it. I only made one. Sir, keep those phases firing, and where are my photon torpedoes? Are they ready, Captain? Have a look. I can't see you. Let's see if we can shake them up a little, Ensign. Initiating Delta attack, sir. I'm reading a small weakness in the shields. Shields are holding fine, but power is down 10%. Weapons having no effect. Damn. They've adjusted their shields already. 
Why is it always the difficult species that are the most adaptable? The Borg adapt their environment to suit their needs. True adaptability involves changing oneself to suit their environment. I'm so glad you cleared that up. Recognize this place? You should. You keep a picture of it on your wall. The bridge of the USS Righteous. Your father's ship. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. This is him, isn't it? Well, I can see the family resemblance. I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Melbourne and Saratoga have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne. Recognize the name? Do you know where you are, cadet? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console now. That's right, 10 years ago, Wolf 359. Security! Look at him. He's barely older than you are. He shouldn't be in security. But four hours ago, the real security officer, Lieutenant Sprint, was killed. And this first year, Ensign had to take his place. And because of his inexperience, everybody on board, including your father, will be killed. The phases are useless. Just isolate the panel now. If Lieutenant Sprint were still alive, he might be able to save the ship. But he's been dead for four hours. No wonder they don't want him on the bridge. Come on, can't you move faster? <laughs> Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Thaddeus Quint. He actually tried to save Sprint's life, but as you can see, he failed the old goat. <laughs> well, what'd you expect? He's a doctor, not a security officer. Still, if he had only had a little more creativity. But he didn't. He's bypassed like the security lockout. <laughs> Dead. Shield mutation is shifting on its own. Shields are dropping. Uh oh! I need shields back up now. Death in battle. If it were a Klingon, he'd be ecstatic. Ooh, I like this guy. Captain, there's a tight beam transmission going directly to the board queue. Computer is uploading data about emergency transporters. Anyone near Jeffrey Six? We need manual power rerouted through the secondary couplings. It's too late. The board cube is firing. Invasive maneuvers. So, now that you've seen your father die, are you ready to avenge his death? Or would you like to try something different? How about a chance to prevent his death? Lieutenant Sprint was killed four hours before the Righteous even got to Wolf 359. But if the good Dr. Quint had been able to save Sprint four hours before, then Sprint would have been able to save the righteous, and you would have grown up in the loving company of your father, and all for the want of a horseshoe nail. What say we give the old goat a second chance to save Sprint's life? You're not afraid of a little space-time continuum meddling, are you, cadet? No, I thought not. Shall we? This is Lieutenant Sprint. Do you think he knows he's gonna die? I don't think so. Don't bother saying hello. Just makes saying goodbye that much harder. Time, Mr. Furlong. Oh, 400 hours, sir. Is the cube within sensor range yet? Coming up now, Captain. Match speed. Stay with it. Setting a pursuit course. Shields up. Intruder alert. Sprint, look out! Shall we dance? wasn't clever enough to think of it. Good thing I am. The board cube is pulling ahead. It's ignoring us completely. Match speed. Keep us within close range. Remember, a sprint should have died right here. Everything you do in his place from this moment on changes history. Invigorating, isn't it? Meddling with fate. Lieutenant, are you all right? Sprint? <laughs> He's an ox. Nothing scares him. And nothing hurts him. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? <laughs> there are all kinds of pain, Lieutenant. Don't let the fact that you are Bajani prevent you from acknowledging the hurt. Oh, please. Captain, coded message coming in from Admiral Hansen. He's ordering us to proceed with all speed to rendezvous with the rest of the fleet at Wolf 359, requesting us not to engage the Borg. Until then, maintain radio silence until contacted. Helm land a course for Wolf 359. Pull ahead of the Borg cube and then match speed. Aye, sir. ETA at current speed, four hours, five minutes. Good. 
We don't want them to get there before we do. And Targus, get that thing off my bridge. Yes, sir. dead this time. Then get him definitely off my bridge this time. Mr. Sprint, reconfigure your security console so you can control Tactical B. Then meet me down at the computer core. I want to secure this ship in case the Borg try and board us again. Good shooting. Uh, how about quick thinking, Quint? Good work, Quint. Nobody ever gives me any credit for anything I do. That's because we don't like you, Quint. I think we can all save our hostility for the Borg, where it will be better placed, don't you? Let me ask you something, Baraka. Do you just spout these platitudes, or are you deluded enough to actually believe in them? Come on, Quint. No matter how hard you try, you're not going to change my mind. I still like you. <laughs> he kissed me. staring at oh of course your father this must be strange for you knowing he may be about to die knowing this may be your only chance to talk to him tell him all about yourself about the years since he died i wouldn't if i were you when he looks at you all he sees is lieutenant sprint i don't think he'd understand hey sprint what well, are you having one of your bajani trances see lieutenant sprint the console please Destination code. Destination code. Hey, buddy, I guess I beat you down here. Mr. Sprint, I am a very tolerant captain, except when it comes to punctuality. I suggest you become more familiar with this ship's layout so you don't keep us waiting again. Do I make myself clear? We were trying to route all of the ship's controls through the security systems as an extra precaution, but something kept rejecting all of our attempts to access the security programs. And that's when we found this. 
It's obviously Borg. But how did it get on the ship? And what is its purpose? It seems to be tied in directly to the security systems, locking us out. Question is, how do we remove it? Sprint, you're the security officer. What do you think? Mr. Sprint is right. Until we know more about Borg technology, I don't think we should make any attempts to interfere with the implant directly. Captain, we were within transporter range for only 6.7 seconds. Mm -hmm. I don't see how the Borg transported to the bridge and implanted the circuit unless... Unless there were two of them. If there is another Borg on this ship, he's found a way to screen against our usual senses. I'll get Targus to scan against anomalies. See what you can do to help. Targets enough. You've got the scans so sensitive, they're going to alert us if a particle of dust falls. If that particle of dust falls off a board, then I want to know about it. You're too cautious. You're too lax. Sprint, tell them. <laughs> you know, if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have had any fun at the Academy. <laughs> if it weren't for me, you guys wouldn't have graduated from the Academy. Lieutenant Furlong, Lieutenant Sprint, and Ensign Targus. Somehow that's not quite how I pictured it. That's not your fault. Every time I see that thing, it reminds me of how much courage it must have taken for you just to be here. And of how much we both owe Sprint. Just don't let Sprint here. His head's big enough already. What exactly do you owe him? You'll spend the rest of your life a slave to technology. I'm not a slave to it. In six months, a year at the most, I won't even need this. In three hours, four at the most, we won't even be alive. Unless we're Borg. <sighs> Dr. Quinn is testing the boundaries of the humanoid ability to maintain affection for him, which he thinks he's not worthy of. So what he does is he tries to make everyone dislike him. Well, he's very good at that. <laughs> he's right about one thing. We could end up as Borg. And I know the last thing I want to have happen to me is to be assimilated into the Collective. We won't let it happen to any of us better dead than Borg. Agreed? Even Quint. Not even Quint deserves to be Borgified. But the Borg definitely deserve Quint. We've got him. Somewhere in Jeffrey's Tube 6. Sprint, furlong. Take a couple of fully charged phasers, flush out the Borg, and neutralize him. Understood? Yes, sir. security, but I do outrank you. Yeah, it's only by three weeks, but I think that would stand up in case of a court-martial. I'll tell you what. Watch your back.
see there is another board, and he's waiting in the corridor for whoever comes out first. Poor old dad. I hope you don't feel guilty. you said, better dead than Borg. Kill me. Good try, but you see the Borg are clever in their own monolithic way. They adjust to hits from any phaser, and they all know how to shield themselves against that frequency. You have to adjust along with them. You did say you wanted to kill Borg, didn't you? I like the irony of it, but aren't you forgetting someone or something? Rise and shine. Rise and shine. If it looks like a Borg, Walks like a Borg, and sees like a Borg. Then it must be a Borg. You're wondering what you're feeling? That's pain. No Borg is an island unto himself. Every Borg is part of the whole. readings but they're marginal maybe we should try removing some of the circuitry just to be sure i say leave sleeping borgs lie his eyes just open could be some kind of autonomic response just called your fellow Borg up to the bridge and had him assassinate all your friends. Don't feel bad, though. If it ever goes to trial, you can always claim the Collective made you do it. This time, try not to get caught. Oh, and by the way, your father cheats. Tuning the phaser to a higher EM band frequency. You're right, they probably already adapted to the old ones. 
Nice shot. What did you think I was going to do, cheat? Let's go see what this circuit can tell us. getting anything useful from it. Maybe if we hooked it into the ship's computer and had it analyzed. I'd like to know more about it first. Can't you interface your tricorder with it? Maybe, but I don't think I'd get any more information. Sprint, what do you think? What? My implant. I don't understand. In Centargus's implant works along the same basic principles as the Borg circuit. She might be able to interface with it. No. You can't possibly be suggesting that Ensign Targus be allowed to interface with the implant. Nobody is suggesting anything of the kind. In truth, Captain, interfacing with the implant would be somewhat like autoneural stimulation, an experience which Ensign Targus is quite familiar with. Exactly the point, Captain. Ensign Targus's neural implant is designed to counteract the side effects of that kind of neural stimulation experience. This kind of neural input is... Does is... anybody mind if I join in on this discussion? You're all talking about me as if I weren't here. Ensign, the long-term effects of your recovery won't... But, Counselor, the concept of long-term effects loses its meaning when the entire Federation is in danger of obliteration. I'm ready. I think it would be best if the Ensign were immobilized during this. Do it. You could have waited till I sat down. I could have, but I didn't. No, 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 no. I want Sprint to do it. Whatever you have to go through, Targets, will be there for you. Counselor, I've already been through hell and back. I don't think this could be any worse. is getting its orders from the Borg Collective. How do we jam the signals, Targus? Shields. Modulate mutations. 0.6525 normal. Now! Do it! Modulating shield mutation. The Borg cube is scanning us. What's happening with those shields, Mr. Furlong? Almost there, sir. They're firing! Mr. Furlong! Got it. They've stopped firing. Shield settings must be in sync with the Borg scanners. They sense us as being part of the collective. Ah, ah, alone! We are. Resistance is. You will be assimilated! The shield has cut off the Borg circuit from the Borg collective. We've got to disconnect it. One more cc of your block, and she'll be a vegetable for life. Do you want to be responsible for turning Ensign Targus into a Bolian zucchini? Sure you want to do this? You saw what it did to Furlong. But then again, you are Bajani. I'll give you a chance to think about it. No. You're not dead. You're unconscious. In a Bajani pain trance. Interesting phenomena. I'm not sure what its evolutionary benefit was for the Bajani. Something like a Terran possum, perhaps. Oh, look. You're regaining consciousness. Welcome back, Lieutenant. I guess this means I owe you my life twice, huh, Sprint? I've never seen anyone go into a Bajani pain trance before. Interesting. You were clearly unconscious. Yet your body managed to finish the task at hand. I suppose it's part of the survival mechanism. Quick thinking. Next time, they'll warn me. Well, you were out. We did a diagnostic on the computer systems. 
The Borg implant is continuing to rewrite code. I'm sending an away team over to the Borg cube to see if they can find anything that'll help us disable the implant. Targus and I are going, but we could use a third. I don't know if we'll get out of there alive. I won't order you to go, Lieutenant. Oh, we few, we happy few, we band of Borg. They're turning this into some heroic escapade, trying to make it impossible to turn down. I'll go. We don't need you, Clint. We need someone we can trust. Just like old times, somebody. Three against the world. Coming. Okay. Use your phaser. Each of ours has been retuned to a different frequency. Here, take this. I don't think we need an emergency med kit. If things get that bad, we're probably dead. There are many ways to die. Some of them are more painful than others. There's an emergency hypospray programmable for neuro painkillers just in case. You do know how to use it, don't you? We're coming alongside the Borg cube. Good luck. Energize. Let's see what they do first. What are you looking at, cadet? Standard interface. Odd. Why? Well, most of the Borg we've seen have direct interface abilities. Why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need?
standard interface, odd. Why? While most of the Borg we've seen have direct interface abilities, why would they need something like this? And remember, they've already totally assimilated one Starfleet officer. Maybe this is his influence. Or maybe it's a trick. Somehow, I don't think the Borg understand the concept of trick. Okay, security. You think you can bypass the Borg lockouts and get us the information we need? Simulation implant that must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it the sequence and then order it to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit. It's been overriding our systems since you left, but we still don't know what it's doing. It's rewriting all of our systems to make them compatible with Borg systems. And I thought our shield setting cut its subspace channel off from the collective. It did, but it's following a pre-programmed set of instructions. We have to give it an abort order, but first we've got to convince it that we're Borg. How do we do that? We use this circuit as a buffer in the interface. It has an individual Borg designation. I remember from my experience with it, Everything is filtered through that designation. Baraka to Captain Anderpoff. What is it, Counselor? Captain, the Borg Cube has just started a series of random scans. They're looking for us. I don't know how long we have before they find out that we're not actually part of their cube. Face looks pretty simple. Sprint. Attach the circuit to the Borg implant. No. Let me. Maybe I should do it. Exchanging protocols. Try giving it a command. Unable to comply. Updating systems information. It's trying to catch up on what it missed. Unable to comply. Or designate Alpha Set Alpha of Four is no longer a functioning unit. Disengage that circuit now. Information assimilated. Retuning shields. Shield mutation is being altered. The implant has re-established communication with the Borg Collective. Bridge! Invasive maneuvers now! The shields are dropping! The only good Borg! We needed a live one. implant that must be a Borg time sequence. No, I think it's a code for accessing the implant. If we can find a way to interface safely with the implant, we can feed it the sequence and then order it to shut down. If it's anything like this terminal, it's going to look for a Borg signature. Damn, if we still had that dead Borg circuit, we could use that to convince the implant we were Borg. That's not a bad idea. But the circuit was fried. So we'll get another one. There's no shortage of Borg around here. Get that circuit.
No, 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 Spritz, right. We need a living Borg. There's gotta be something we can use on the Borg that'll stun them without killing them. Do you think you're fast enough? Do you really think that's gonna work on me? Tricorder. I have no biological components. You should have waited for one of the others. Hold on, buddy. We need you conscious. Don't go to any pain transition. Your friend Furlong wasn't able to stop it. The Borg don't seem to notice, though. They're assimilating you at this very moment. At least this time, you won't feel it. Oh, it looks like you're waking up. Interesting. Borg, yet not Borg. Do you feel it? It's different this time, isn't it? Proving to yourself that you didn't have to listen to that nasty old Borg collective. True, you are dead, but now you know something you didn't know before, right? Well then, it was worth the trouble. enough? Do you really think that's going to work on me? You'll be back. Maybe more than once. What were you waiting for? He sent himself into a Bajani pain trance. Oh, smart move. Sending yourself into a Bajani trance before you get Borgified. I only hope you're in time to stop them before they Borgify your friend. Implants 
programming is shutting down, Captain. We have complete control again, sir. Captain, I have a message from Admiral Hansen. We are engaging the board. The Righteous is ordered to remain outside the battle until all first and second line defenses are exhausted. At your discretion, that was all, sir. And so it begins. You mean there's nothing we can do? Not until we're called into action by either the Admiral or the Borg. They also serve who sit and wait, Lieutenant. Let's get a battle ready. I just hate sitting here doing nothing. Worried that the battle will be won without you, Tarkas? Worried that the battle will be lost without us. You overestimate your importance to the situation, Ensign. The battle is already lost. Keep your cynicism to yourself, Quint. I'm just telling the truth. I'm afraid he may be right. Things aren't going very well. Oh, not you too, Lieutenant. It's important to have a positive outlook, even in the bleakest of situations. It doesn't get much bleaker than this. What? Nothing. I was just thinking about Kalen. Kalen? My son. What were you thinking? <laughs> I think by now all my friends are tired of hearing me brag about Kalen. I'm sure they don't want to hear anymore. Did you hear that, Sprint? You don't want to hear Furlong talking about his whiny brat now, do you? I guess I was just wondering what was going to happen to him. He's only eight. No, wait. He's nine. Growing up without his dad, that's going to be rough. He'll be all right. How do you know? I know, and so do you. I suppose I do. His mother's a strong woman. She'll see to that. It's just... Yes? I won't get to see him grow up. I'll never get to know him. Uh, as a man, I mean... Only me. Uh, a poet, a painter, an historian. A Starfleet officer. <laughs> There's so much we're both gonna miss. And so much you would be able to tell him. Isn't that right, Cadet? Why do you keep doing that? What are you trying to prove? He's trying to prove that people actually like him. Oh, spare me the psychology, Counselor. You don't have the tools to analyze me. Your problem is very straightforward, Doctor. You desperately want to be liked. If I wanted to be liked, all I'd have to do is snap my fingers, and I'd be liked. I'm an omnipotent being masquerading as Dr. Quint. Whatever I want to happen, happens. Interesting fantasy. <laughs> all right, let's play that through. Then why don't you? Why don't I what? Make everyone like you. Because I don't want to. No, because you want them to like you of their own free will. And phenomenologically speaking, you can't force them to do something of their own free will. Sophistry, Baraka. Truth, Quint. Let me give you some free advice. If you want to be liked, try making yourself likable. Orders from Admiral Hansen deploying third wave attack when ready. Battle stations, take us in, Targus. Maximum power to the shields. Spring fire phases. Keep the frequency changing and get those torpedoes online. security instead of that little mouse of an ensign. The Tolstoy just took a major hit. Are you going to be able to save him or not? I think she's pulling away. The Kyushu's coming on strong. Saratoga and Melbourne have lost power. Tolstoy, Kyushu, Saratoga, Melbourne, all ships that were lost at Wolf 359. 
Will they be adding righteous to the list? Captain! Intruder alert. Security, isolate the ops console. At 0800 hours, during the Battle of Wolf 359, the USS Righteous was hit by a Borg weapons discharge and vaporized. It's in your hands. Security! we've been vaporized for a minute there i thought we would be where is it headed ensign direct course for sector 001 sir i wonder what chance the starfleet forces have of stopping the borg at earth actually they will succeed the enterprise utilizing the emergency transporters on the shuttlecraft will recapture their borgified picard and stop the borg incursion just in the nick of time and how do you know that quint i told you already i'm an omnipotent being to quit Lieutenant Sprint. And what have you done to my crew? I'm afraid the Lieutenant died about four hours ago. Not my doing. He was supposed to die, just as all of you, I'm afraid, are supposed to be vaporized here at Wolf 359. That's how it's written in the history books. History? Are you telling us you're from the future? He is. I am, well, as I said, I exist outside the confines of the space-time continuum. That is if I want to. My little friend here wanted a chance to come back and save this ship from destruction. And to my great surprise, he succeeded. So you were just pretending to be Sprint. Why? Who are you? Kayla. Please. I'm trying to figure this out. As I said, I didn't expect Cadet Kalen to succeed here, and now that he has, I'm in kind of a bind. I don't, uh... Of course. According to history, we've disappeared from Wolf 359 at exactly 0800 hours. We stay here alive, corrupts the timeline. Our future, but Kalen's past. What are you going to do? Well, the easy thing would be to just obliterate you all, but then... That wouldn't be fair now, would it? On the other hand, I do want to protect the timeline. Hmm. Are we dead? Uh. I don't think so. Where are we, Lieutenant? We are still at Wolf 359, sir. The real question is when are we? According to the navigational charts, Correcting for time. We have jumped ahead more than 10 years. It's clever. I don't understand. We disappeared from Wolf 359 exactly when history says we did. Timeline is unaffected. We're still alive. Thanks to you, Cadet. If you hadn't come back to get us, we'd be dust. Captain, what about Quint? Oops. I almost forgot. Where am I? What's going on? Wait, I don't think I want to know. Captain, I'm picking up the vessel 34 Mark 216, heading on a course for Earth. It's the Borg. What are your orders, sir? We're a Starfleet ship in Federation space. We may be 10 years behind the times, but I bet we know a thing or two more about the Borg than anyone else in this time. Lay in a pursuit course. I, uh... I think I'm going to enjoy getting to know you, Cadet Furlong. Course laid in, sir. <laughs> 